Hello. Today we're going to draw a regular pentagon given the measurement of one of its sides. The first thing we need to do is to draw a horizontal straight line, as shown. On the left side of this line we will mark a point A. Now set the compass to the length of the side of the pentagon that we want to draw. And scribe an arc to get point B as shown. This will be the first side or the base of our polygon. Now we need to draw the perpendicular bisector of the base AB. To do this, I remind you we must draw two arcs with the same radiuses. These radiuses must be longer than half of the base as shown in the video. And then the second arc with the compass positioned on point B. This arc will cut the first arc in two points as shown in the video. The perpendicular bisector is the line which passes through these two points. So let me remind you of the definition of the perpendicular bisector. This is the perpendicular line which passes through the midpoint M of the line segment AB. Okay, so now let's draw a perpendicular line starting from point B. And this line must be longer than the segment AB. Now let's scribe an arc of the length AB on this previously drawn line as shown in the video. And where this arc intersects our line we will call this point P. So the next step is centering our compass on point M and radius MP we scribe an arc to the right until it intersects the prolongation of the segment AB as can be seen on the video and we will call this point Q. So the length AQ will be equal to the diagonal length We will continue to draw our pentagon step 1 with our compass centered on point A and radius AQ, we must scribe an arc which just passes the bisector as shown. Now we repeat this process with the compass centered on point B until the two arcs intersect as can be seen in the video. And we will call this point D, which will be the highest vertex of the pentagon. Now we must locate the other vertices of the pentagon. To do this, we must scribe two arcs of length AB, which will intersect our previously drawn arcs. Now we repeat this process with our compass centered on point B and scribe an arc to the right until we intersect our previous, previous arc as shown in the video. So now we call these two points C and E respectively. So now we have the five vertices of our pentagon A, B, C, D and E. The next step is to join these vertices using our set square to complete the pentagon. So C to D, vertices D to E, and finally we complete our pentagon from E back to A. So now we know how to draw a regular pentagon knowing the length of one side. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you.